Hi guys, and welcome to your uh, gridding project this week. Um, as we begin our portrait, it's important to remember uh, the tools that you already have been given in using a grid. Um, now, there's a few things you really need to pay attention to in this assignment, and yes, this is your only assignment for this week, so good luck. Uh, you all are going to be starting with a little bit of photography. As you see in the steps and the examples below, um, you will be choosing either yourself or someone you know as your subject. I want this to be somewhat personal. I do not want you guys to go in and find some random image of a celebrity from Google or something of that nature. You guys are finding and discovering your eye for photography and your ability to choose an image. And that's just as important as the drawing process here. So what I'd like you all to do is to think a little bit on the front end of this project on who you want to photograph, whether that's yourself or someone you know. Secondly, set the stage. You're gonna go ahead and find a light source, whether that's a lamp. As you can see, I have a lamp here. There's some lighting there. Dramatic lighting is much different than just boring lighting. You need to really think about that, okay? As you do this as well, you need to think about your background. You don't need to have a background like you see in this room or something that's outside with a fall tree behind it. You don't need that. What you need is you need to really think about a bland, flat, neutral background. So I took my photographs, as you see in this uh, assignment, on just a very plain wall, okay? Almost like a mug shot, okay? So you wanna kinda set the stage with your lighting and your setting to make it easier. Last, when you're photographing, get really close. Now it might be a little awkward if you're photographing someone else because you might be right up in their face. However, you need to see that detail and you need to focus on what's here, not what's here, okay? You don't need to look at the entire body, torso, background. It's what's right in this window since this is a portrait. This is all about expression. So there are lots of different types of expressions that you guys can explore, you know, whether you're photographing yourself or someone else, whether that's uh, surprise, shock, awe, joy, you know, anger, aggression, all types of different um, emotions that should be very dramatized in your photograph. There should not be any form of kind of uncertainty or guessing like, oh, I think that they might be happy in that photograph. That means it's not the photograph you need to be choosing to draw. It needs to be very, very dramatic, as you see below in the examples, okay? So, <clears throat> so please, please make sure that you all are setting the stage and getting things set up properly. After you do that, you need to view the video that's attached to this assignment as well. That is a screen capture of how to grid your photograph. So you're going to choose the photograph that you feel best demonstrates the things I just spoke about. You're going to grid it, you're going to crop it, so it should be eight by 10, and then you be, should be putting eight boxes across, 10 down using griddrawingtool.com. All of that is in that screen capture in the video below as well. Okay, now last, as you begin to draw, this is only about contours, okay? You're gonna have a large sheet of paper you know, with your grid. Now it's hard to see these grid lines. Gotta come in really tight and you can kind of see them just slightly. Believe it or not, there's eight by 10 and that's a good thing that you cannot see the grid marks. They should be so light that you can barely see them because we're gonna erase these grids at the end and they're in pencil. You're gonna be doing your contour drawing box by box, trying to achieve the proportions in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Once you finish those proportions, you'll come down to the next row, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and you're going to draw box by box. No shading this week, just your proportions. So what you're going to submit is a fully proportionate image. Leave your grid lines on there when you submit this photo, because I want to be able to tell if you're getting away from your proportions. All right, so what I'd like you all to do is I'd like you all to please make sure that you go ahead and submit both your cropped image, black and white, of your photograph, and your gridded drawing with your contour lines, okay? See the instructions below. Let's make this one a phenomenal start to this assignment. Again, there's no shading this week, so it's a little bit less um, quantity of work, but it's more about the quality here of how you set up your project in a way where you know it's going to be successful.
okay? If you have questions, please email me. There's no critique for this week. This is your one assignment. Good luck, you all. Have a great time drawing your portrait. Take care, guys.